Hey y'all, this is Brett, and you know, I've seen people try and sell things all my life with inflated expectations attached, and that's just not how it works. <laughs> people think that they can just go from clear down here to woo like this really fast, and We've seen people win lotteries or go on America's Got Talent or some television program and go from that down there to this in that long. But did they really? <laughs> when it came down to it, maybe they did financially and fame-wise. But there's a lot more to this whole thing than just those aspects. And it's likely that if they rose in power in a few different things, that it's likely that they dropped radically in some other things because they couldn't stand that extreme energy explosion. And so, when when it comes down to it, they actually didn't. They probably leveled out there. They washed. It's called a wash. <laughs> and so, you know, extreme highs and lows are not really desirable, except for addicts, cocaine and heroin addicts and adrenaline junkies. And so, it's really, in my opinion, best to just kind of gradually, that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm just going to gradually go up. And as a kid, I grew up moving all the time. And that was really an adrenaline rush to be woken up in the middle of the night by fighting parents that had decided Oh my God, we're going to pack all our shit and we're going to be gone by 6 a.m. to Southern California. We'll be there by the following evening. <laughs> Something like that, you know. Adrenaline junkies. <laughs> they just couldn't get enough of polarity. And so, I'm going to just stay in this house. I'm just going to work in the garden down there. See that? I'm just going to keep building soil and building energy and making more videos. I'm in a decent place. It's not perfect, you know. But look, for God's sake, I'm a 27 still. See that? <laughs> I beat the monk and the librarian. That ain't bad. <laughs> so, um, yeah, stability would be good and just a gradual increase of um, continually subjecting myself to better and better people and decreasing the opposite. And if I can't say good, uh, something good about something, then don't say anything at all. And um, riding my bike more, eating more vegetables. I'm not going to say anything about any of the other foods if I can't say something nice about them. More and more vegetables. Vegetables! Freaking vegetables! I was looking at this index. Thing. can't remember what it's called. It's some index, some I something BG. It rates the uh, nutritional popularity, <laughs> the nutritional value of foods. And vegetables were the first 40 or something of the foods. And then finally, clear down on the list, a fruit came up. There you go. The top two tied for with 1,000, which is the highest possible score. Kale, collards, and watercress. There you go. 
And like I said, fruits, I'm eating them again. But they've got to go eventually. I hope I can do it in the next couple of years. I did it for a week. Woohoo! But fruits did not come up at all for clear down the list. Not one fruit. It was all vegetables. So thanks for joining me. Hope you're well.